Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Deloitte. So today the San Antonio Spurs have made a lot of moves. Free agency began at midnight Eastern Standard Time and already the Spurs have been willing and dealing and making moves trying to get LaMarcus Aldridge. So they began last night by agreeing to a contract in principle with Kawhi Leonard Five years, $90 million. Now, he didn't sign any, anything yet because they want to see what's going to happen with LaMarcus Aldridge. So then I wake up this morning, and this morning, the first thing I'm, I'm starting to see, the San Antonio Spurs have now signed Danny Green to a four-year, $45 million contract, I believe it is. And that is a great deal. Now, it sounds like a lot of money at first, and let me explain to you why I think it's a good deal. $45 million, he's going to get paid and that's gonna seem like a lot of money right now. But next year, the salary cap is gonna rise up a lot. And Danny Green's contract is gonna seem like a steal. Now when you think of a player getting 15, 16 million dollars, you're thinking of your top players, and you're thinking that that player is getting paid. But that's gonna become your 10 to 11 million dollar players next year. Everybody's gonna get a shift, and everybody's basically gonna get a big old pay raise next season. So signing Danny Green to the four year deal now, actually put the Spurs in a pretty good position moving forward. So I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, the Spurs, they need to do something creative, creatively to be able to get LaMarcus Aldridge. So then they end up trading Tiago Splitter to the Atlanta Hawks. So now they have the money to give LaMarcus Aldridge the max deal. LaMarcus Aldridge is going to get paid. He's looking to go back home to Texas. The only thing in his way and the only thing that is holding him up right now is the Los Angeles Lakers because the Lakers are ready to give him the max deal as well. Even though because of taxes, he will get more money in San Antonio than he will get in LA. But he lives in LA. He's neighbors with Kobe Bryant. He's been wanting a big market. That's one of the things he's been complaining about in Portland. It's because the market is small. He's not getting the recognition that he really deserves because the market's all just can ball. NBA fans know that, but the rest of the world doesn't know LaMarcus Aldridge. So he wants to go to a big time market where he's gonna be a name brand and a player that everybody knows. LA could offer that to you because you have people all coming off the bench in LA and everybody knows who they are. San Antonio Spurs, obviously they're a small market. NBA fans know them because they win games. They're quiet, but they win. That's the only reason why we really know them. They're not a big time market. LaMarcus Aldridge wants a big time market. And that's where that confliction is coming from. The Lakers met with LaMarcus Aldridge first thing. It was 9 o'clock Pacific time, 12 o'clock midnight, and they met with him. They made it a priority to meet with LaMarcus Aldridge first, and that's what they did. They met with him. They're the first team to meet with him in LA since he's currently living in LA. And the Lakers are going to make a big time push to really go out there and get them. I'm not sure how that meeting went because after the meeting, the Lakers scheduled a meeting with Kevin Love. And if, you, if you're confident in the meeting, I don't think you'll schedule another meeting with another power forward. But maybe it's part of the deal just to, make, just to be safe and make sure they can get a player both ways. But then the Lakers, what they did after that, now they've met with um, Greg Monroe because the Lakers clearly want to bring in the center and they want to bring in a power forward. It's going to be interesting to see what, ha what happens. LaMarcus Aldridge, on the other hand, nobody really knows what he's going to do. He's clearly the top free agent this year. So everybody's waiting to see what he's going to pick. Is he going to go back home to Texas? San Antonio, he's going to be closer to his family. Or is he going to go for the limelight and go with L.A.? Please let me know in the comment section below what do you think. Just leave the comment, LA, or is it going to San Antonio? Let me know. It's your boy D-Lord. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.